subclavian steel syndrome is often seen as a result of the occlusion of the subclavian artery proximal to the vertebral artery. So I'll give you an example what happens when the subclavian artery is occluded. So let me use this highlighter here. This is the yellow color. So let's draw a plaque. So le let's go through the anatomy first. This is the ascending aorta. This is the arch of the aorta and this is the descending aorta. This is the brachiocephalic trunk which gives off the right common carotid artery and the right subclavian artery. You have the vertebral right vertebral artery here. This is the thyrocervical trunk. This right subclavian artery later becomes the axillary artery which later forms the uh, brachial artery. On the left side you see the left common carotid artery which gives to the left internal carotid and left external carotid arteries. This is the left subclavian artery, this is the left vertebral artery, this is the left thyrocervical trunk. I'll give you an example just on one side. So let's draw a plaque here. So let's say that there is a plaque that comes here and blocks this subclavian artery before the origin of the vertebral artery. Now what happens if you see if you encounter something like this. So normally the blood flows takes this direction here. Okay, I'll use a pen here and use this to highlight. So the blood flows in this direction and it goes all the way here through the aortic arch, goes to the descending aorta and then uh, on its way here it also goes up here and it was supposed to have gone through this area. So I'll just put this as dotted lines here. So normally blood would flow in this direction and supply the su right subclavian artery. If there is an occlusion here, what might happen is when there is physical activity involving the right upper extremity, there is a reversal of the blood flow. So instead of flowing from the brachiocephalic trunk, the blood starts flowing backwards from the vertebral artery. So it starts flowing in this direction. Now, as you would know, the right vertebral artery is part of the posterior circulation of the brainstem. And if blood starts flowing away from the brainstem, a person may start experiencing vertigo, diplopia, dysarthria, visual obscurations, nausea, vomiting. So just because of the reversal of the blood flow, a person may start experiencing all these symptoms. Similar things can happen, so let's draw it on the left side. So if there is an occlusion up here, if there is an occlusion here, same thing can happen and the blood will start flowing backwards from the vertebral artery to the subclavian artery on the left side and it will cause ischemia in the posterior circulation. This is a very simple concept to understand and this is called subclavian steel syndrome.